Hey guys, Dr. Justin Feldman here from Feldman Physical Therapy and Performance and I wanted to talk a little bit about how we're using some wearable technology in our practice to help keep our staff safe as well as our patients safe and how we might be able to help you implement a similar system for yourself, your family, or even a group as large as your business. So. The first step is pretty simple. Basically, all we need is a wearable device. We have partnered up with Garmin to be able to do this using their devices. One of the best parts about this is that if you've got yourself a new Garmin device within the last year or so, the device you have is probably already compatible with the system, and so you don't even need a new device. There's a couple different systems out there using some different devices, and I've personally been testing basically, I think, all of them. And the best part about the Garmin system is just that most people will already have a device that's compatible if they're a runner, triathlete, a regular gym goer who has a Garmin device. If not, the other great part about the Garmin system is that they had to have a device that goes for around $100 that works great with the system. So you don't need to go out and spend a lot of money on a device in order to be able to use it. And it's also just a one-time fee for the device. Some of the other systems, you have to kind of rent the device from them. And so there's a monthly fee for the service, but then there's also a monthly fee for the device. And so that's uh, great that Garmin was able to sort of make it easier for everybody in that realm. What we do is you wear the device, you wear the device all the time, and the device is measuring a bunch of different physiological characteristics about you, and then it's able to compare that to your normal. And so we look at your heart rate, we're gonna look at your resting heart rate, so kind of the lowest point your heart rate gets while you're sleeping at night, and that's a really good indicator of overall how your body's doing. Our resting heart rate should generally be pretty stable. We might find it dips down a little bit um, as we get a little bit fitter and then the more fit you get, the lower it'll keep going, but it's a very slow progression down. We also might find that it jumps up a little bit in a couple of different situations. One is if we're overtraining, and the other is if we're not getting enough sleep. And the last one that might cause it to jump up is if your body's in distress. And so notably, if you're sick or not feeling well, you might see your resting heart rate spike up. And that can be an early warning sign that you might be sick, ill, in distress before you even have any other symptoms or, or anything else that you might notice. The other thing is, the newer devices are able to measure your respiratory rate, so how many breaths you're taking per minute. And again, that should also be a very stable number for you. And they're finding, especially with uh, COVID, that as you get sick, so sort of before you might have some other symptoms, you can start to see somewhere around one to two days before an increase in your respiration rate. And there was a story a PGA golfer noticed this using a different device and he was able to get tested, found out he was positive, isolate himself and prevent any spread. And really that's what we're trying to do with this system is be able to bring some of the systems that are being used in pro sports and really large organizations down to the smaller level so that everybody has access to the same technology. And the other thing that these devices are gonna look at is your heart rate variability. And so we can think of your heart rate as sort of being those spikes on the EKG graph that you might see sort of on TV and some of the medical shows, right? And the space between those graphs is your heart rate variability. And while your heart rate might be say 60 beats per minute, between each beat, there's a slightly different amount of time. And actually, the more variable that amount of time is, then the better and more adaptable and healthier your system is doing. And we'll each have a standard number for ourselves that the device can track, but if your body is under stress, then we're gonna see that heart rate variability decline 
And that's a really great early warning sign and can usually be one of the first things that we can pick up on. And so what you'll see with these Garmin devices is that as your heart rate variability starts to decrease, especially if it's a sudden decrease, then Garmin has this nice body battery feature and that body battery is going to go down and sort of tell you that you're not ready to take on the challenges of the day. And what we'll see is that we'll see if someone's getting sick, we might see a increase in the amount of sleep they're taking every night, but we might see a decrease in their heart rate variability and a kind of a decrease in their readiness to take on the challenges of the day. And then we might also see an increase in their uh, resting heart rate and an increase in their respiration rate. And these are all signs that we would look at through our dashboard that we'll show you in a second. And we might recommend that person get tested. And so if you're just an individual that's interested in being monitored, we can definitely help you out and do that. And we will wake up every morning, we look at the dashboard, we look at the data, and then we will let you know if there's a problem. Basically, you're able to see these things in an app on your own, but it's helpful to have somebody else monitor the information and make sure that you're looking at it with all through the right lens and know ahead of time if you should be getting tested for something. And then if you're a larger organization, uh, office, you know, any, anybody um, with their, their own business or, or who works in another business that's interested in trying to bring this into their system, we can separate the dashboard out just for your business and just do a quick check on a regular basis to make sure that everybody's doing well. And if you have been paying attention to the news, you'll know this is something that the NBA is bringing in using a ring wearable device. The PGA Tour is using a different type of wearable device. And we're just excited to be able to bring some of this technology that's being used in the elite pro sports realm down to the regular everyday person and make it available to you. So let's take a look really quick at a walkthrough of what you can see within the app uh, that Garmin offers. And then also we can give you a little bit of an idea of what our dashboard looks like from our side. So this is what the user would be able to see on their end. We'll scroll down. You could take a look at your heart rate and we're looking at that resting heart rate that we talked about. And we want that to be a relatively stable number. If we go back, we could take a look at this body battery. We're going to click show stress. And as we do that, you see these orange lines that indicates when your body's under stress, blue indicates that it's not. As we look back at your sleep, we're looking for you to not be under stress while you're sleeping. And you'll see some stress as you wake up and we could scroll down and we're going to look at this respiration rate. That's also been shown to be a really reliable early warning sign of COVID. And we see, we just want to stay within our normal range there around that seven day range. And this is something the users can check on their own before they come in, see where they stand with things. And that's really helpful. But let's take a look at our dashboard to see what we can see about each individual user. So you see here, we've got this dashboard and we've got these green areas. And basically what we're looking for is the amount of sleep someone's getting, how much stress their body's under, and the quality of the sleep they're getting and how much movement they have. And if we start to see somebody who is under an added amount of stress, but moving less and getting more sleep, but not as much quality sleep, then that starts to point us in the sign of an early warning sign of disease. And this was something we'd be able to see in the morning and flag this person and ask them to maybe get tested before coming to work. Here, this is a little bit of a boring look at the dashboard because it's just my data so we don't break any rules, but we would be able to have an entire company's worth of data on here and each dot would correlate to a person and we'd be able to check in in the morning and if there was a risk that they potentially could be ill, their dots would be showing up in the red zone and we basically would be looking for somebody who's in the red in all of these areas and we'd want to recommend that person get checked before showing up to work. And so this is just a really easy way for us to help everybody make sure they keep 
themselves, their customers, and their staff healthy and safe during all of this. Thanks so much for watching through all that. Hopefully it all made sense. We really want to be able to use this technology to help keep everybody healthy and safe. So if there's anything that didn't make sense, if it's something you're interested in or you think could be useful for either your house, your family, or your workplace, we'd love to chat about it. So please feel free to email me. Uh, my email is just justin at feldmanphysicaltherapy.com and I'd love to talk with you about it and explain anything that doesn't make sense from this or all of the different things that we're able to do with this system because I think it's really powerful and can be really helpful for so many people.